hello guys and welcome in this uh, video in the game engine series that we started so in this video we're going to be talking about entity component design and um, in particular about an um, object and game objects in the previous video we've been talking about vector and transform we create two basic classes for our vectors and transform because um, all objects need to have a transform and if the object has to be moved then we need to have a vector which is going to be a reference to the speed or acceleration or whatever so you definitely want to check that out because everything we're going to be doing in this video and the video coming in the future are going to be based on what we did before i can come back every time and explain things so um now uh, before we get started i also want to yeah tell you that guys you can simply uh, subscribe to medical channel and like this video and you can support my work on patreon and the source code of this uh, video is going to be provided in the description below so you can go ahead and check that out so let's get started now in order for us to create our uh, game class our um, entity component uh, design and stuff we need to create as i say two classes so the first one is going to be i object which is an interface for all object so we're going to be creating a new folder source and that folder is going to be called object we only need a header file we don't need uh, a cpp file because it's an interface an interface is just a blueprint you know it defines some method that all object need to be all object need to implement i mean all object that inherit all classes that inherit from this object need to implement it's a little bit swampy but yeah so now we create our object now we have the object folder and we need yeah we don't need any con uh, constructor because this is just an interface i should probably should come back and i also um i mean uh, in the previous video i have seen that my the code was too small i hope you guys haven't struggle too much with that so i put the font now to 12 tell me if this is enough for you if you can see and read what i'm writing that's important for me that you get what we're working on right now so we basically have three functions for all object all object that need to be drawn on the screen as a draw function as an update function and sometime need to be clean generally i mean that will happen for most objects for example clean the, the texture or remove or you know free some space that will that that was allocated or anything i don't know so that those are the three function that all object needs now this is our basic i object class we need to create another one called game object so we say class and we say game object so we go in that folder go to soft source and we go to object put it there we also need a header we don't need any cpp file so we create it so we have our game object class right here now the first thing we need to do is to include our i object because he's gonna inherit from it so public i object now since he inherit from that guy he need to implement the functions that that guy has so that's important that's why oh i'm sorry this is not what i wanted so we need to paste those functions right here Let me move. Mark. so we have those three functions so this class is actually an abstract class we won't implement those functions here uh it's important to notice that all classes that inherit that inherit from i object need to either define those method or implement them so that's why we redefine them here now we later create some object based on this game object like player which are going to implement those function and have something inside of them so that's the idea so i don't need a destructor because yeah so the protected we need it because this class is going to be mostly uh, used to create our inheritance system that's the idea behind it now there are some important parameters to define for the game object for example we define a transform for that we need to include transform 
transform so we have transform edit we define the width and the height an object need to have a shape so we also need the texture id if you remember we've created the texture manager and this texture id is actually going to be a reference to the texture that the, this object actually has so that's important for us and we also need to know how the object is going to be oriented so it be flipped horizontally or vertically that's how we should do it now if we want to initialize a game object what we can do is to create is to pass those parameters to the constructor right here and just give them those values right here but that will be too much for the constructor because there is more coming in the future more parameters so we have a long constructor with you know with all those parameters and we don't want to do that now we can do that by creating like a class a structure called properties which is going to take all things about this and uh, we will simply pass the property to the game object which is going to be now in return used to initialize this component so we'll say struct and I'm going to say properties of weird right here so this yeah properties now properties need to have uh, all the things that we define down there so we have public we need texture id we need width and height position we're going to be using x and y to initialize the transform that's why we don't actually have transform here we have the value that the transform is going to have we also have the flip that's all about that now we also need a constructor to initialize those properties it's a structure it can have a constructor so we can do that it's not a big deal and yeah we also need a public up here now this should bump a little bit so now perfect we have our property structure so this will define how the object are going to be initialized so if we can we will probably add more in the future but for now just leave it like that um, we go to our constructor our game object constructor there we can simply say properties and we say props and with this now we, it should be a pointer we need a pointer with this we can initialize all the component we have down there that was the idea of it so in order for us to do that we don't have to write it um, we don't have to write it inside of the of the constructor we can simply do it here like this I will have the texture and we take the prop texture ID we give it to this guy we have the width we take the props width and we give it to this and so go on for all parameters for the flip also but for the transform we need to create a new instance because transform is a pointer and we need to define it if we don't then we'll have some issue right on the screen now we can simply do it by just specifying this yeah by creating a new instance of it have our transform create with x and y and we have it done now this is our game object created um, for now we're gonna be uh, stopping for this video um, we're gonna be creating our game character in the next video based on this game object and there we'll also start um, probably start making some animation for the player and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching consider to support me on patreon I'll provide the link in the description below and uh, yeah See you in the next one.